um, it, it looks pretty bad, but let's go ahead and start to edit. And I do like to edit with my mouse. Even if I trace it with my uh, pen, I still I feel more comfortable pulling out the points with my, with my mouse. So the very first thing I'm going to do, um, I'm going to take this little, it's called a shape tool, and I'm going to click on that. And if I click, double click using that tool, these are called nodes, and all my nodes will come up, How? Um, and those are what I'm going to use to edit. And I think it's best maybe if you just watch me. I'm not sure about the terminology on a lot of this stuff. I just tend to do it. So see what happens when I pull the node. This is actually where it started. That's the start point. And I'm just going to pull the nodes into place. Remember, this was a hand-drawn design, so it does not have to be perfect, um, perfectly on the line. I just want to get the shape. And this is caught. This is, these are actually when it's in a polyline and I'm going around a curve. It actually made it a curve by itself. And in order to edit those curves, I just pull out the handles. Here's the node, and I can just pull out these handles. Let me go ahead and click that. I can pull out these handles to where I want to edit edit them. I can also take out um, certain, you know, if I have too many in one place. This little area looks pretty good. And I just go up and work it until I get it um, on the line or close to the line. Now, I want you to just notice what happens here in the corner. It kind of takes on a rounded effect there. I just zoomed it up for you. It takes on a rounded effect. And in order to get that to be a nice sharp corner, I will right click it and I will make it a cusp. And what a cusp, cusp does is, watch what it does now when I take the handles. It's going to sharpen it out. Instead of um, making that a curve, it actually stops it at the node and it really you know, I'm able to make a, a nice sharp point there. Now, if I want to go and do some of the curves, this, like, look, this node is a curve, and sometimes I, I grab the handles instead of the node. Let me zoom this back down. I want to bring this down to get on my line a little bit better, but then I want to curve this around so it fits. And actually, what I just did there, um, that was pretty easy. I just kind of shaped that around without even trying. Uh, let's see. See, some of these, if you'll notice now, here's, here's how this line followed. I believe this is the same line. If I double click on that line, if I don't see a node and double click on the line, I can actually add another, another node to edit, and that's exactly what I want to do here. And so, see, I'm just adding them and pulling in those lines until they're on top of each other. You'll get the hang of this once, once you actually do it yourself. I know it's looking kind of confusing right now. Okay, I want to show you this area right now. Here I'm at another point. I want that to be sharp. And if I left it at the curve, see what it's making a curve, but if I blow it up, it's just not as sharp as it would be. And actually when it stitches out, it, will, it, it won't be a really sharp point. So I like to go ahead and take that. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place here. And I'm going to right click that and I'm going to make it a cusp. And this way I can really sharpen that out. I'll bring out those handles to make sure that they're really sharpened out. It gives me a little bit more uh, freedom to to shape it up a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and edit, and you can watch as I do this and what I'm doing. Sometimes there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing, but it seems sometimes I I I learn better by watching somebody. So I'm hoping this video at least helps you know some of some of the visual learners out there. Of course, this video would be very long if I continue um, recording while I'm doing this whole thing. Oops, see what I did? I, didn't, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to, you can also delete, delete a node, and that actually brings those two a little bit better together. Um, let's, I am all constantly zooming in and out, trying to bring, bring the lines, just bring them on top of each other. You know, this is the tedious part. Some people think that this is the tedious part of digitizing. And... You know, once you start doing it, um, you know, it gets easier. At first, it's a little bit awkward, but the, the more you do it, the more, you know, you're going to get comfortable with it. I want to point out something right here. See how that really isn't on my trace line at all? You know, I really don't care. Um, maybe I want to make it a little bit longer, but here again, I drew that out, and 
I may want to put a little curve, you know, a couple curves in that. But I drew that out to begin with, and it wasn't perfect, so I'm not, I'm not too concerned about it being on the line. Where I do want it to be on the line is on my feathers. I'm real particular about my feathers. I, usually I take a lot more time drawing those out so that when it makes it easier when I'm editing so that I can find that line to do them. Here again, we've got some areas that we're just going to kind of shape around. And this really looks bad. I told you this really looked bad to begin with. But it will turn out. Now, if you're really good at tracing from the get-go, if you're really good with your mouse or your pen or whatever, you won't have this much editing to do. But sometimes it takes a while to get to that point. So I think it's important to show people And I'm going to go ahead and stop this video now and, and trace a little bit more or edit a little bit more on my own.